Hello, Dave here. This mini morsel is using MySQL and doing a subselect in the WHERE clause. And we'll talk about how that's used and what its purpose is, but it's a very handy uh, feature within SQL. So let's go ahead and first of all, I'm in PHP My Admin, and I just kind of went to home. I have a handful of databases here, and I'm going to go ahead and use this database here. And this database is a WordPress database. So it's a database only used in about, oh, 60 million or so live sites out there in the world. So it's a real database uh, that comes in pretty handy. And you see we have some common uh, database uh, tables here, one being the post table and one being the comments table. And within WordPress, right, you put a post out there and people can put comments on that post. So if I look at the post table, and this is just showing us, notice it did a select star from posts. Here is a whole bunch of posts. And you see that we have these posts and uh, there's 96 actual posts out there. And then if we look at the comments table, same thing, select star from comments. You see that there's about 31 comments. And here's the actual comments that are out there. So a subselect, let's, let's, uh, let's just go into SQL for a moment, right? In the basic select statement here, right? Select star from WP comments. Don't worry about this where clause that really has no meaning because it's where one or where true. So it doesn't mean anything, but basically we're saying select star from WP comments, which says, give me a result table with all rows and all columns. The purpose of using a subselect in this kind of a situation is when I want to show values from a specific table but the condition is based on something happening in another table. So it's kind of similar to a join where you're using more than one table, but I don't really want to show columns from more than one table. So our example, subselect example, is going to be show me posts, right? And here's our posts. And I'm going to pick a handful of post items here. So we'll, uh, we'll pick uh, items like the post title column and the uh, what else would uh, and, and and the post ID and let's grab the uh, let's see what else is available out here well we can grab something else but the important thing is is I'm going to select which posts that I wish to show based on comments that have a the word test in the comment content okay so let's go let's just take a look at those right now right and if we uh, let's just zip into SQL here and if we just go real quick here I do a select count star from WP underscore score comments. And let's go ahead and do a go here. And you'll notice that I have 31 comments out there. But how many comments? And let's go ahead and select. And the beauty of PHP my admin SQL, right? I'm Here's my breadcrumbs, right? So I'm on localhost. I'm on my ZAMP server. I'm in my MM site move database. And I'm in my WP comments table within that database. So within this table, it shows me the columns that I can use, right? And it's just handy having the values there. So if I say, whoops, if I say, 
select comment content and comment post ID, right? Comment post ID is a foreign key, and this is something that you should be aware of working with a relational database. A foreign key is this is this is a key value to a next to a separate file. So it's referred to as a foreign key. So I can look at the and if I say select comment content, so show me the content and the comment post ID. And generally, if we're going to be looking at a table, we should probably look at the comment ID also. And I have to tell it which table. So I'm going to say from WP underscore comments. Let's say go. And here is the content of those comments. Right? So it's showing me 0 to 29. So it's showing me 30 of my 31 total. And here is the values in that comment. Now notice that some of these have the word test in them. Well, and that's what I'm going to use for our example. I'm going to say show me all of the posts that have a comment and that comment has test within the comment. So let's update this to from WP comments, right? Remember, we have 31 of them. And I'm going to now say where comment content like, and like is an excellent thing, and I can say wildcard test wildcard. So this is saying if the word test is anywhere within my comment, and I guess I should spell that word correctly, comment content like test. And let's do go. Now it's giving me showing rows 0 through 12, which is 13 of them. And here are those 13 rows that have the word test in the content. So instead of 32 or 30 or whatever that number was, I have 13. And here's those post IDs, right? I have three comments on this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on that one, and one on that one. So it looks like there's only three different actual posts. But let's go ahead and do our sub select. So now I'm I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm just going to do a Control C to copy that, and I'm going to go to the posts table and go into SQL mode. And if I paste, this is going to be the basis of our subselect. So I'm just going to hit enter a couple of times. And here's our values within our post world. Let's go ahead and structure a subselect because I want to show just the posts that have uh, the word test in the comment content. So I'm going to do select. So let's pick our columns. I'm going to pick post, or I'm going to pick ID first. Let's get the ID, and let's get post author and post date, and we'll get the uh, post title, and and that's probably not from the, uh, the post table. So from WP underscore posts where, and here's the important piece of the puzzle, right? Where ID in, so in order to do a subselect, I have to do one and only one field that has to match a field within my subselect table. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and in, and here we put in our subselect on the where clause. And I'm going to say select, and I can only select one field because this field is going to be matched against this field. And that field is comment post ID. That's why I made a point of talking about it being a foreign key. So where comment post ID is, uh, so select comment post ID from, and I guess I can come here and, right, and here's our sub select. And there we go. So this is how the subselect is structured, right? So I'm going to say select these various columns from my posts, WP post table, and give me the rows where the ID is in, and then select IDs from the comments table where comment content contains the word test using the wildcards here. So let's see what it looks like. And I say go. And it's showing me three rows, right? And here's that, 149, 151, and 708, right? And here's the post title. And, and it happens to have the word test in there, but that has nothing to do with it. Um, and the post author being a, a number, uh, but either way, right, here's the post date, but here's our title, comment test, many tracebacks, and another pick, and a couple of post links. But again, we have 149, 151, and 708. So, and here's the one that it actually executed. But once again, here we go. This is a subselect. And it is where you use the data in a table that you are not using in the, your result table to determine which rows you are going to include in your result table. So this is Dave from DaveCoast.com. Please let me know if you'd like additional MySQL type of information. I find this to be an extraordinarily handy tool within MySQL and use it almost on a daily basis. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please leave comments or questions at the bottom of uh, this video. Or go ahead and email me, dave at davecoast.com. Thank you very much.